Hello lovelies, welcome back to my channel. So today we are talking about vintage hair care products that you can still buy today. So first on the list is Mason Pearson Brushes. And this is a British company specializing in hair brushes. And these hair brushes have been around since the mid 1860s. In 1885, Mason Pearson invented the rubber cushion hairbrush which became the company's primary product and is still on sale today and little has changed from the original design. There is also the junior model which has a mix of bore and nylon bristles and this is technically the Ferrari of hairbrushes. I found a mini blue one. I think this one's for kids but I just like the blue color. But this one is nylon bristles so I kind of wish I had a bore one so I might upgrade and get the bigger one because I didn't realize how small this one was but it is really cute and I like the color so I definitely want to invest in the like original bore Mason Pearson brushes but I mean I have a feeling once you buy one you'll basically have it for the rest of your life because they're really good quality. Next on the list is Prell and this is a shampoo brand and it was introduced by Procter and Gamble in 1947. The original formula was a clear green concentrate packaged in a tube. In 1955, Prell was marketed for women who want their hair to have that um, radiant and alive look to it. And I happened to find a vintage Prell bottle. I believe this one is probably from the 50s or 60s. Um, there's no date on it. It does have the ingredients that might indicate the age but the bottle definitely looks very retro. I'm gonna open it up and see. Definitely smells like strong shampoo. Poo. I'm kind of curious to try it. And then I found the newer versions online as well. They still have that really bright green color. I noticed the scent is very similar to the vintage one, so I found that kind of interesting. Next on the list is Queen Hyaline Hair Cholesterol, and this has been around since 1930 and it is a US owned company. And I'm really curious about this hair cholesterol. It looks really interesting. I kind of like the retro look of it. I've tried a bunch of their other products. I really like the Queen Hyaline um, cleansing cream. I find it really good. So I have a feeling this hair cholesterol will be really good for dry damaged hair. Next on the list is a men's hair product. This is Vitalis Hair Tonic. And this has been around since the 1940s and men used to, to style their hair and give it that shiny look, which was very popular even in the 50s and 60s, especially when Elvis became popular. Next on the list is VitaPoint, and this is a leave-in hair conditioner. And this one has been around since 1953, and you basically put it on your hair um, on the ends and you leave it in overnight or after you wash your hair, and it kind of gives your hair a nice soft look. And I found some vintage ads too, and I just love the way the vintage ads look. Next on the list is Dippity Doo, and Dippity Doo has been around since 1965, and it was originally invented to set curls, and it's also a gel, and has a very unique gel-like texture. And as you can see inside, it still has that really pink gel look to it. I'm curious to wonder if this is uh, still the original formula. And then it became popular for young men, but I love the vintage ads of Dippity Doo. Next on the list is Philip Kingsley, and this is the elasticizer that was made for Audrey Hepburn. They worked together to create this pre-shampoo hair treatment, and this one has been around, um, I'm thinking from the mid-70s, around 1974. And Audrey Hepburn worked alongside Philip Kinsley to create this because her hair was very damaged from filming and styling it on set. And they developed this moisturizing treatment that was meant to not weigh her hair down. Next on the list is L'Oreal Paris El Met Satin Hairspray. And this hairspray has been around since 1960. And this is kind of a breakthrough hairspray of the time. This hairspray has a breakthrough formula because it's very fine, but it still has a brushable hold and has unique micro diffusion technology that creates a mist with micro droplets to spray the hair finely strand by strand. So you get a really nice even hold with this hairspray. And lastly is Three Flowers Hair Pomade. I discovered this brand when I found a vintage one 
I think my vintage one is probably from the 1930s. I bought it in a lot with a bunch of other 1930s products. It could be even older, but this brand has been around since 1915 and it works really well as a hair pomade. Apparently some people even use it as a like perfume because the smell is actually really good. I really like the smell to it, but you could even dab some on your skin as a perfume. That's what I read online that some people used it for. And it's kind of interesting to see how similar the logo is from the 1930s to now. Like the font is essentially the same for the three flowers and they even use the same color scheme. So I thought that was kind of interesting as well. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you've tried any of these products. All right, I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.